Hi there, it's Wednesday the 28th of July 2021. We're continuing this month to look at the one another scriptures in the New Testament where we're called to love one another, accept one another, encourage one another. And this week we're looking at serving one another. And in particular, we're asking the question, how can we serve like Jesus? Because of course, Jesus is our supreme role model of loving each other and, and serving each other. And Jesus actually called himself the servant of all. One of the ways in which Jesus served was to help people who were in need. And we saw that from the story yesterday when he practically met the need of people who were hungry. And these very practical ways of serving is actually doing something like Jesus did. Secondly, Jesus prayed for sick people. Mark chapter um, 3 and verse 7. Jesus withdrew with his disciples to the lake and a large crowd from Galilee followed. When they heard all he was doing, many people came to him from Judea, Jerusalem, Edomia, and the regions across the Jordan around Tyre and Sidon. Because of the crowd, he told his disciples to have a small boat ready for him to keep the people from crowding him. For he had healed many, so that those with diseases were pushing forward to touch him. And whenever the evil spirits saw him, they fell down before him and cried out, You are the Son of God. Jesus served people all the way through his life, people who were sick in many different ways, people who had physical illnesses, a man with leprosy, someone who was blind, somebody who couldn't walk, somebody who couldn't speak. Jesus healed people with physical ailments, even to the point of death. He actually raised people from the dead. He also healed people with uh, mental ailments, with those who had mental health problems, with those who were suffering from torment and some even had evil spirits tormenting them and he cast the evil spirits out and he set people free from their torment. Do you remember the man who was called Legion because he had so many demons tormenting him and he, nobody could get near him and Jesus set that man free. We can serve people by praying for people who are sick praying for people who have torment, praying for people who have ailments of all different kinds. And Jesus called us to serve in the way that he served. And he said we could do the same things that he did because it's the same spirit that we are relying on for the power to heal. And when God's spirit is within us, when we are Christians, we have God's spirit within us and we have the power to pray for people who are sick, to pray for people who are tormented in their minds, and to see people healed and set free by the power of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. And so we can serve one another in this way. And it's not just people we know that we can serve, we can serve strangers as well. One of the joys is to be able to pray for people that we don't know, just to offer to pray for somebody. I think maybe only once or possibly twice in my entire life that I have offered to pray for somebody has somebody said, no, thank you. People are only too willing to have someone pray for them. So why not the next time you're speaking to somebody who is sick, who has got sickness in their body or sickness in their mind or is facing some kind of ailment, why not offer to pray for that person and serve them in the way that Jesus served people? God bless you. Speak to you again tomorrow.